Cavaliers. Cavaliers. Today, Today is March 9th, 2017. 2017. We're Chow and Casey. Today, Today we take a look at Spikeball and more. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned because Arnie TV Live starts now. now. What's up, Cavaliers? Oh my, oh my god. god, do you, you feel, feel that, that connection? connection? We're, We're totally in sync right now. Quick, say, say the first few words that come out of your head. Togas, Catholics, Aga Baga Booga. Whoa. Wait, Matthew, you've just been reading my script. Oh, right. Well, we love seeing everyone repping their squad today, and we hope you're looking forward to tomorrow's patriotic battle. Wear red, white, and blue for tomorrow's pep rally, and hope your class win participation points to help determine who gets a spirit stick this pep rally. Today is the last day that we're collecting for Relay for Life, so make sure to find a student government officer and donate. Also, remember to come out to the gym at lunch today for another round of spike ball with Share One Love. And the Cavalier family continues to rack up the awards. Congratulations to PCA Dance. Last weekend, they competed at the Encore competition and was awarded a platinum score in the competitive division. The men of the Chi Iota Iota chapter of Omega Psi Phi sponsored its first annual Black History Bowl this past Saturday. Despite only having two members on their team, Ileana Carr and Julia Smith persevered and came in second place after two sudden death rounds. And congratulations to Gabby Duvall, Logan Etheridge, and Peter Percall, who represented r &E at the Winthrop University as members of the All-State Choir. And finally, congratulations to the members of the senior cosmetology class. The entire class passed their theory exams. On March 16th, 180 ninth grade students will have the opportunity of visiting one of four different schools. The colleges are Lander University, Wofford College, Midlands Technical College Airport Campus, and the Art Institute of Charleston. Stop by Mrs. Moody's classroom B209 to pick up a permission form. Please be aware that there are only 50 seats per bus with the exception of the Art Institute of Charleston with 30 seats. Pick up a permission form for yours for, for your first choice and second choice. If your first choice is no longer available, you'll be placed on the bus for your second choice. Students with excessive discipline issues will not be able to attend. If you have any issues or concerns, please email Mrs. Moody at cmoody at richland2.org. Prom tickets now cost $75 per person and will go up $10 each month until April. All fees must be paid in order to purchase a ticket. Seniors who went last year as a junior must pay $10 to attend. Forms can be picked up in the main office or the fees office. r &E TV Live reporter Leverett Williams uncovers why students are not allowed to use the outside bathrooms. Many students question the administration on how we can use these bathrooms, but we can't use these bathrooms. Administration is concerned about students using the outside bathrooms because of previous incidents of drug activity and fighting. According to CNN.com, 17% of high schools perform illegal activities during the school day. The school's responsibility is to treat students as if they were own kids at home. First thing that's important is safety. So we have uh, a responsibility of making certain that uh, that, that anything that we know about does not impede your ability to be safe at school. However, students have concerns on how they can use the restrooms during lunch. You have to have a pass to get inside and not all the, I don't have a pass all the time. Because I have to use the bathroom during lunch, so then I have to go into a building and teachers always ask me if I have a pass, which I don't, so they don't ever let me use the bathroom. One solution would be to have them come to the e-hall. In the E-Hall, as you can see, when you come through the E-Hall doors, you're not actually coming through the hallway. The, the bathrooms come first, so they, they, they should be able to go to the bathrooms first instead of going straight down the E-Hall. Even though administration won't allow us to use these bathrooms, now we know why. For Arnie TV Live, I'm Leverett Williams. Thanks, Leverett. Arnie TV needs your help. If you have struggled or currently struggle with anxiety and would be willing to talk to one of our reporters, please email us at morningnewsshow at gmail.com or contact Anila Jackson or Gladys Leon. If you are interested in playing volleyball next year, there is a team meeting this afternoon at 345 in the auxiliary gym. Please see Coach James in A108 for questions. Student government applications are out now, so come get yours in E109 if you'd like to apply to run for Senate or House for the 2017-2018 school year. Applications are due March 28th. There will be a mandatory National French Honor Society meeting today at lunch in room B203A. We will be discussing Relay for Life. 
Many of you have gone to the gym to play spike ball. Here are the rules and how to play. All we have for you today, Cavaliers. Stay tuned for more original content. For RNETV Live, we're Chow and Casey. Have a great day.